All right. We've got another champion with us live in the 1980s. Michael Bent won four Golden Glove championships. And in 1993, he won the World Heavyweight Championship. Later, he played another champ, Sonny Liston, in the film Ali. Michael Bent, welcome to BK Live. Thank you for having me, guys. Man, I'll tell you. <laughs> Let's we got get on, talk about. All right, where are we going to go? I'm going to uh, go how it all started, because you came here from England, right? right? And then you moved here to the States. You right. moved here to New York area, Queens, yeah. Brooklyn. You Cambridge were, Heights. Right. My mom and dad's Jamaican, left Jamaica when they got married. I was born in London, came in 72, and uh, started boxing when I was 10 years old. I was a Yankees fan, but like, you know, my dad was a big boxing fan. So what said, took you to boxing, though? My dad. Yeah. You know, and uh, as most people know who are Jamaicans, like, you know, if your dad said, you know, be a, uh, a dressmaker, you'd be a, a dressmaker. Right. My dad said, be a boxer. So, you know, I boxed. Didn't like it, though, you know, because he can hit. Right. Who likes getting hit? I didn't like getting hit. So I, uh, one day I uh, went home and said, Dad, check us out. I don't like this. He was upset. But like, you know, I played baseball for like four or five years, and I had a mentor who was my first boxing mentor, a guy named George Pimentel. He was like five or six years older than me when I was boxing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Which gym did you box out of also? Uh, the, uh, oh, wow. Um, was it in Queens? The PAL. Okay. The 110 Precinct in, P in Queens, uh, Flesh and Metal Park. So this guy, George, you meant to, uh, George Pimentel, his dream was to uh, make the uh, U.S. boxing team. And he made the team. And remember the uh, the flight that uh, went to Poland and crashed? Yeah. He was on that team. So I cut school that day. I went to Aviation High School and cut school. And uh, my brother had a paper route to grab some papers. And I went upstairs and was reading the magazine, I mean, the uh, news article about this flight going down. And my guy was on the plane. Mm. So that at that moment, I said, you know what? I know I'm a fighter. So I'm going to dedicate my uh, career to George. And brother, that, like, took me around the world and... And you had a hell of an amateur career. I mean, you fought yeah. on a Jamaican uh, right, Olympic that's team. Right. That's right. right. You won four or five national titles. Five. won the Golden Glove Championship four times, four times right. during the 80s. Right. What Absolutely. was that like? Explain, that. Explain how that also changed your life, um, winning those titles. I think, I think, like, you know, no boxer fights because, you know, um, he has a, um, a functional, you know, upbringing. You know what I mean? You fight from someplace. Ray Robinson fought from, like, you know, dysfunction, you know, victimization, you know, really both fought from that. You know, everyone fights from, like, you know, that place of, of pain, right? But that was the uh, place to express it in a boxing gym. And once again, like, you know, I wouldn't have been successful without having that guy, Georgie, a Pimentel, in my, you know, in my memory, because he inspired all that. You know, I wanted to win four Golden Gloves, five Nationals, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you know, that, uh, that, uh, I always wanted to win four Golden Gloves because George used to always say, like, you know, that, uh, Mike, you know, the great New York boxers win four Golden Gloves. And I was, like, in the back of my mind since I was, like, 10 years old. And I achieved that. And fighting, fighting for those titles, especially the guard at that time, and the guard wow. was really at its height. Magical. Mm -hmm. You know, it was epic. I fought to Alex Stewart my second year. We fought this hellacious uh, finals match, 85,000, there were like 19,000 people. It doesn't get any better than that, man. It was, I was terrified. But like, we banked it out. And I came out like, you know, victorious. Uh, and I fought Ike Padilla uh, in the uh, 87 Golden Gloves finals for my fourth championship. And that was magical, man. You also went on to win the heavyweight championship in 1993, right. defeating, knocking out. Tommy, Tommy Morrison. Morrison. Right, yeah. How did becoming heavyweight champion? How did that change your life? Good question. That was that's that's huge. Yeah, but like you know, I've always I've always been in conflict. I was always in conflict with boxing because like you know when 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 uh, your parents says do something and you go against the grain and do it anyway, it's this you know there's conflict there. So I was in conflict, but like you know I knew that fighting Morrison was my chance to validate myself with my peers, with Roy Jones. Because, like, you know, I've known Roy since, Roy since I was like... Who were your peers at that time? Oh, Roy, Roy Jones, Jones Evander Bo? Holyfield, Riddick Bo. You know, these guys and that, that I came up with. And that was at the height of the heavyweight division. Exactly. Ray Mercer. When you look at the heavyweight division today, man, what yeah. goes through your mind? Um, honestly... Changed. And the heavyweights seem so much bigger today. I mean, they're bigger, but less, but less athletic. You know, uh, um, uh, I mean, the guys can punch. But I don't see any nuances 
You know, that's the technique. Sure, sure. Right, right, right. That's right. That's right. Sure. And step back. Step back. One of my step back. Step back. One of my mentors. One of my mentors in box was a guy named Georgie Benton. This guy was like Einstein, you know. And this guy like groomed me. He also handled Ali. That's right. I mean, Joe Frazier. That's right. Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young. Evander Holyfield. Philadelphia. That's right. Um, Georgie's uh, um, um, uh, masterpiece was a guy named Pernod Whitaker, mm -hmm. you know. You know, we've got to also talk about that Ali film. In, 19, in 2001, right. you played Sonny Liston. Yes. How did that also change you, man? Yeah. I mean, getting into the life of Sonny Liston, because you had to take on his, his, his character, aura, right? Sure, his aura, sure, right? sure. And I found, like, you know, that digging into the unsaids, you know, digging into the stuff like, you know, that made Sonny Liston. Sonny Liston had a hellacious uh, thing with his father, relationship with him. So I dug into that, because I can relate to that, right? And, uh, you know, it's not in the script, but, like, you know, I got I to gotta dig into it. And when the man says action, when Michael Mann says action, I'm suddenly listening, because I can, like, you know, find that place. And it, if you're Will Smith, you say something like, you know, snarking to me. Right. I'm gonna I'm a dig into you right. as Sonny Liston. Right. The work so is done. Big bad. I want you, your big bad. I'm coming out to get you. Right. Now, you might, now you might have flashback. Right? And, my and my response was, right. I can't say it on TV, but, right. like, you know, right. You know, and that's how Sonny felt about Ali. Ali. Right. Or Cassius Clay at that yeah. time. Sure, sure. But it comes from like a dark place. And we have to, like, you know, we can't deny that in ourselves. Boxers can't. Yeah. Ali didn't. He came from that stuff. Frazier did as well. Yeah? Sonny, I mean, as far as also that particular you call me Sonny. Film, that's I mean, good. I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> that particular that's film, good. It, played, it, it, it was so impactful, especially during that time. Ali yeah. fought him twice. He, that's fought right. him, he fought him in, in Miami, then he fought him in Maine. That's right. That's right. Those are, those are epic fights, you know, because those are two epic characters. One is a quote-unquote good guy, one is a quote-unquote good guy who's a bad guy. Mike, also, in, in April, mm. you're going to be honored, right, with the yeah. rest of the uh, Golden Glovers, right? Yes. Explain yes. that, Michael. Right. Wow. Um, next to a landing, the uh, Ali gig, you know, next to the birth of my son, that's, that's, that's probably uh, the biggest thrill for me, you know, to be inducted with guys like Riddick Bowe, Jerry Cooney, Chuck Webner, and I forget the other uh, persons as well, but, like, I mean, that's, 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 uh, that's beyond an honor, you know? And, like, you know, I mean, it's... it's, it's uh, and also, you're in that class with Howard Davis, the late Howard Davis right. that we lost about that's a right. month ago. Right, that's right. I mean, those guys are, once again, icons, and those guys, any... Any fighter who is great from New York has to win the gloves. Now, if you want to be like you know an icon, you win it four times. So I'm 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 just you're there. What are you doing now? I know you're. I'm acting, acting directing, directing a play in New York uh, in a couple of months. Uh, we're in talks with a, uh, a media um, um, company to uh, develop something for them as well, and I'm writing as well. You know, just trying to like search this thing, to search this thing called life, man. Because that's what we do as boxers. We search ourselves, and we search the, you know, the other fighter. That's what it's about. Mike, I'm out of time. Are we done? We are done. Sonny. That was ten minutes, bro. That's it, man. Jeez. That's all wow. she gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>